Hello and welcome back to my next tutorial. Today I am going to create a fruit and grocery website. Please stay with me and watch the full video. Now I will show you the mobile responsive of the website. Now I will create the header and navigation of the website. We will divide the header in three steps, the first logo, second menus and the last one menu button so the full header will be in three section.
Now I will apply the flex property. Flex is using to make element in one row easily.
half of our header has been created.
there was some problem in that it please change accordingly. JavaScript code, I have already written it please you can take it from the source code. Now I am going to create the about us section please have a look.
two sections, had been created, for about a section, one is from text content, and the other for image. About Us, section created successfully. Now I am going to create product section, 
Here you will see all the product I have designed them with animation with the help of CSS please watch the section you will understand. Here I was having problem, with the font awesome icon, please use the latest version of font awesome, or pick the icon with related version. Here I will use the flex property, it will help to get elements in a row, flex is the property of CSS, if you have no idea of this, I will advise you to learn that how to use flex property. I am using 300px, with for every class but after some time I will change it, the width due to some reason, you will know in the video.
Here I am using, animation property of CSS, you can see how the products will animate. I am now creating blog section, every section having two intersections, on section will be for image, and the other section for content. I will use the flex property first for the main blog class then I will move forward to the inner blog section.
Now you can see how beautiful we have designed the blog section. I will just copy and pass that section below to make a copy. I have created a read more button. You can see them in the source code. Now I am going to create the footer section. First I will take a background image, then I will create classes and links in the footer. I will just need make them flex and giving padding. It's so easy. Thank you for watching the video please like and share with your friends.